For today's edition of Dear Mark, I'm answering three questions. First, what's the deal with the new Harvard study claiming that eating more red meat increases the death rate? Does it actually prove this? Second, how about the one claiming that reduced carb diets also increase death? Should you worry? And finally, why do I recommend eating locally farmed farmers market produce, even if it isn't organic? Let's go, hi Mark. What's your take on this Harvard study? www. HSPH. Harvard. Angie slash news slash press releases slash increasing red meat consumption linked with higher risk of premature death slash. Those who increased their daily servings of red meat over an eight-year period were more likely to die during the subsequent eight years. It's total nonsense with very little applicability to MDA readers. Red meat eaters were more likely to be smokers. Red meat eaters weighed more. What else did people change as they added or removed red meat from their diets over the eight years? The study doesn't say much. What we know. Those who ate more red meat as time wore on also ate more calories per day, roughly 400 more. Those who ate less red meat as time wore on tended to reduce their overall calorie intake. Those who ate more red meat as time wore on also gained more weight. The simplistic urge is to assign blame for these changes to the increase in red meat, since that's what the study is studying and that's what they keep mentioning throughout the paper. But there are a million other variables that could have caused it. That likely did cause it, because that's how cause and effect works in this world. Or rather, causes and effect. And remember, this wasn't an interventional study where one group was told to avoid red meat and one group was told to eat more red meat. This was data pulled from two different studies done decades ago, gathered by asking people what they ate on a typical day and then following up with them at a late date to see who died, who got cancer, who gained weight. It wasn't explicitly about red meat. So, this is a mishmash of remembrances of what some people think they might have eaten, and the researchers from today's particular paper honed in on the red meat and tuned out everything else. This isn't about individual people. These are abstract numbers. One of the more interesting notes in the discussion section of the paper was this line. Unprocessed meat consumption was only associated with mortality in the U.S. populations, but not in European or Asian populations. I'll be revisiting that line in the near future.